LG hasn't really launched that many tablets, and I don't really understand why. They built some great displays, so much so that the iPad is powered by them. So when they finally announced the tablet at IFA, I'll admit I was very excited. So I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the LG GPad 8.3. So I'll admit that when I pulled this out of the UPS box, I was amazed at how narrow this box is. So this is definitely a long tablet and not a wide one. You got some specifications, the usual details, and sadly this is a second batch unit. Some outlets and OEMs are having trouble getting us reviewing it on time, and we really appreciate them going out of their way to get us one as soon as they could. So this is the GPad 8.3. Love this aluminum finish at the back. Love the plastic finish and the contrast between these. We get the speakers back here that we're definitely going to be testing. Five megapixel camera here and we get these white bezels and definitely this looks like a big LG G2 and I am a big fan of the G2. I really can't wait to start using this tablet. So let's see if there is some juice in it here. Other than that, we know the usual. Tablets ship with bare minimums. All we get is a wall ward. We get a USB syncing cable and we get this 8.3 inch 1920 by 1200 display. And we get a little sound as the usual. We get a Snapdragon 600 processor in this tablet, not 800. Uh, we'll see how that performs. Two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, and there is expandable memory here at the top. There's an IR blaster as well. Um, other than that, this is a very simple tablet. And yes, I know you're running out of battery. Viewing angles, this is an IPS display like in the iPad, are not bad. Really not bad at all. Um, but this tablet will cost you 350 bucks. So obviously you're trying to compare this against the Nexus 7, which is $150 cheaper, but you also have the iPad mini, which will cost you somewhere around there as well, $300 already. So, so far, let's see, the mini is definitely wider than this GPad 8.3 and definitely, ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. It is slimmer than the GPad 8.3 as well, but I do like how substantial the GPad feels. I do love also this long display. I don't like wide displays because they're not really easy to carry in the back pocket of your jeans, but so far we're definitely gonna be putting this tablet to the test. I will admit that my first impressions are actually positive. I especially love the materials. I love the design. So we'll keep you posted and our review should be out very soon. That's it for our unboxing of the GPad 8.3. We'll definitely spend some quality time with it in the next coming days, so make sure you leave your questions in the comments down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you very soon.